guys, my name's Kevin, or iPhone Punker, whichever um, people I've gotten used to yet. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to SLI a 1.1 Mac Pro. Um, it doesn't take too much effort. Uh, there is a few sacrifices in doing this as well. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm using a two graphics cards with two single six pin connectors. That's the first thing. So I'm using two EVGA GTX 660s reference uh, cooler. So this is pretty much just the reference cooler that came with the reference cards, but it's slightly modified for EVGA. Um, to be honest, I'm just going to say now, the only reason why I bought these was because the six pin and uh, they look pretty good in the Mac Pro, so they do. And uh, I have already done all this, uh, tried and tested, and it does work perfectly fine. Now, what you are going to need is your original card as well. So I've got an 8800 GTX um, running here. You're going to need to boot into Mac to set this up as well. So, first off, we're going to install your original card back into your machine if you have not already done that. I'm just going to pause this now and I'm going to skip to uh, once this is installed. So, uh, we have the original graphics card, the 8800, if you can see that, installed and we are in Mac OS X. Just boot it up there and uh, just close that, close that and we are going to go to um, Macintosh hard drive up the top right. If you don't have that, go to Finder, Preferences, and make sure that hard drive is ticked in the corner there. So um, that's another way of doing it. Or you can go to Computer, as far as I remember, and that will do the exact same thing. So anyway, you want to go to Systems, Library, Core Services, and scroll down to expansion slot utility so this application here what it does is it changes your expansion slot um, or your PCIe slot uh, speeds and um, what you want to do is click on that currently mine is set at number one what you want is to have two eights so these two options here are what you want to use either one of these so I'm going to use the last one and save and restart. So basically what that does is it changes the two the the actual expansion slots into um into two by eight expansion slots, which means you can SLI it now. Originally it would have been just one sixteen and one four. Sorry machine starting up again. Um which wouldn't allowed you to SLI at all. So this that was the main step at the start. So again, or what I will emphasize is SLI is not supported on Mac OS X. You will need Windows to SLI. So I'm just going to log in here. Yep. So if I go in here to the expansion slot app again, if I can find it, there we go. It shows up with two by eight pin connectors and two fours. And the two fours will probably be useful for uh, SSD cat or an SSD PCI Express thing, but uh, that'd be about it. Um, the two eights would be perfect. That 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 there or this here, and this here will work the exact same as well. That. It doesn't really make a difference. I just picked this one just because. So quit out of that, and quit out of that, and quit out of that, and quit out of that. So now we're going to restart the machine into Windows. I've got a little application up here that will just let me restart into Windows straight away without having to go into the boot. Um, without having to go into the boot selection. 
Uh, Windows will take a little bit longer to install because Windows is on a hard drive, Mac OS X was on a SSD. So the next thing I want you to do as soon as Windows boots up, yours is probably already done or um, is probably doing its thing right now. But uh, I'm also using Windows 8.1 and uh, this method does work with that and lower. So that's that's the good news. Anyway, <laughs> um, just pretty much waiting for this. What, I'm do, what I'll do is I'll actually pause this and I'll be back as soon as this loads. So once Windows boots up, what you want is for what you want is to get to the uh, bootcamp application you must have that installed as well and what I want you to do is use your bootcamp windows operating system as your main bootable operating system right now just to make things a little bit easier and uh, okay sure and uh, yeah so that's that's just pretty much all I need you to do so we're just going to shut this down And we're going to switch out the cards. So I just want to do an overview of the GTX 6600 uh, Superclocked Edition that I am putting into the uh, Mac Pro. It does have HDMI support, HDMI 2.0 or main display port, uh, DVI-D, DVI-I, and uh, it supports uh, PCI Express 2.0 to 3.0. Um, it also is two gig. It's a two gig card. It uses the Kepler architecture, and uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty decent card. So it is. Um, it sports DirectX 11, PhysX, all the usual stuff, and uh, as far as I know, it's it's a very fast card as well. For uh, it's it's a kind of a entry card for. People who are just starting out pretty much but uh, with two of these uh, you would definitely beat a 780 or a 6 690 and with these two cards I slide uh, the frame rates that I was getting out of this was amazing uh, out of these two so uh, I'll just uh, pause this and I'll have this card in my machine right now also, just another warning, uh, these cables, they do not ship with the Mac Pro usually, unless you upgrade your graphics card. Uh, what you need if you don't have these cables is a mini 6-pin to 6-pin adapter uh, for the Mac Pro, and they should come up on eBay, no problem. I got these two for about €9 Euros each. It sounds a bit expensive, but uh, they are pretty handy. And what they do is they attach to the actual logic board in there. What I had to do was I had to actually take this unit, or well, pull this unit back, take this off, and take this unit out uh, to actually get these cables in. It is a bit of a pain in the arse, but it's the way you have to do it. So just uh, plug those two in there, and we have power. So I'm just going to pause this again, and this should be all done. So the two 660s are in there, and uh, another thing that I forgot to tell you is about you need one of these. This is an SLI bridge or an SLI cable. You need this to link the two cards together or you cannot SLI at all. So you can get these from uh, with motherboards, old motherboards and very rarely you'll get it with a graphics card. That's that's uh, only if you spend something like a couple of grand on a graphics card that they'll throw in an SLI cable on that and uh, I've, I've so far, I've never come across an SLI cable in a graphics card case. Um, I got this from a mate who was building a machine, didn't need the SLI bridge, so he gave that to me. So uh, you definitely need this. Totally need this. Um, so what that does is it connects the connectors down here. Oh. It doesn't really matter which orientation you put it in. It, there's no backwards way of putting it in, so there isn't, and uh, just make sure they're securely in there, and that's pretty much them two cards connected together. So uh, I'm just going to pause this, 
and I'll start up Windows. So we're back in Windows and I'm just going to go to CPUs to actually confirm that the two GTX 660s are running in the machine. So we have the motherboard is an Apple computer Dell Inc. Macintosh logic board and here are the two GTX 660s running at two gigs each. So um, currently I am running the NVIDIA control panel or NVIDIA drivers 3 point or 340 which is kind of useless right now because the method that I'm going to show you is you need to have 335 uh, NVIDIA drivers. So this application here is called Hyper SLI. This application SLIs any non-certified machine to run in SLI. It's a, I don't really know how it works, I just know it does work. <laughs> so um, I just open up the control panel, or sorry, the NVIDIA experience thing. So there's the two GTX 660s, we have two Intel Core, or Intel Xeon X5355, 16 gigs of RAM, and the driver version is 34052. We don't need that version, and uh, sadly we have to delete it. So, if you go to, if you want, you can right click here and go to Control Panel, right there. Uh, you can do it that method on Windows 7 and lower. This will run on Vista. This 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 is the Vista is the last thing that Hyper SLI will run on um, from Windows 8.1 to Vista. So uh, to those of you who still use Vista, for shame. Um, so uh, this method, you can go to Settings and Control Panel, just a little bit easier. And uh, basically, you want to go to You want to go to, if I can find it, where is it gone? Program and features. Uh, I went into small icons on the top corner. Uh, I prefer it that way. Program and features. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the drivers. So these are the drivers. What we're going to do is we're going to uninstall that. Anything with 3.40 at the end of it, pretty much just these here. You can do. You can just delete the entire lot of them if you wanted to. So I'm just going to wipe all these off, and I'll be back to use in a minute. So we're back again, and. Uh, these are the softwares you are going to need to do this. So it's 335.23 NVIDIA GeForce drivers and you're going to need the Hyper SLI 1.0 uh, program. So uh, I've gone on ahead and uh, I've started to agree and express installation and that's going to install right now for me and uh, I will cut back as soon as the three point the three three five version of the software is installed and uh, we can carry on after that